uh, actually the the way I think my music it's very related to a practice a day practice that I I do uh, and I'm always working on the same thing so uh, although I don't work with the partitures or scores I consider that uh, um, uh, when I go for to make a performance I have this idea that um, there is this uh, music that uh, I bring with me and uh, I don't consider that uh, total improvisation but even when I see the, the work of other musicians I also uh, think that uh, most of them are doing uh, uh, most of the time their work so uh, the, the, the times where you achieve something that surprise you it's not that uh, that often and I see the, that a lot in improvisation. You get, uh, uh, you don't uh, think your music uh, with your brain, and in the end, you start to 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 use more uh, the physical memory of the of your movements, and you are doing things that you practice a lot, and uh, it gets out. Uh, so it's even uh, you don't get to new things because you are stuck in. Uh, the things that you learn physically so you you can't uh, and sometimes it's good to to try to to get conscious that of uh, that you are stacking a wall and that you need to arrange a way to to keep the journey to find new things there is this uh, idea that uh, free improvisation is about inventing uh, a new sound every time but i think uh, uh, it's not uh, the people that are doing that are not doing a, a big uh, favor to music uh, if they are trying to discover things in front of people. And I don't think that uh, free improvisation is a term that uh, defines most of the music that, is, uh, that uh, fits on the category. My first approach to music was through the records of my older brother that in the end uh, is not, uh, is, he became an engineer and never made music but uh, it was uh, more or less when I was 14 or s something that I started to listen to, to and uh, most of, uh, of it was rock music and uh, then I went to an art school uh, uh, like uh, the secondary grade like for 60 to 18 years and uh, in that period I uh, there was the school was really intense in terms of a lot of everybody as a band or there was the fashion biz, uh, the, the people that were more turned to fashion and the people that were turned to music and uh, in the end uh, uh, it was uh, in that period that I decided to, to become more involved with music. I never had this idea, oh, I want to do this for the rest of my life, but it was like I was always thinking about that. And uh, I think that the music that you hear in uh, your uh, adolescence uh, generally marks you in a way that uh, nothing more can mark you. I started uh, uh, initially uh, with guitar, then I changed to violin and uh, uh, it's a problem that I have with music is that uh, when I, I tend to practice a lot uh, an instrument, I tend to be uh, trapped in some kind of um, um, technical things that uh, don't, uh, I don't feel that they are putting me in the good mood to play music. So from time to time I, I tend to turn to a new instrument because I feel that uh, uh, I'm getting uh, stuck in uh, technical things and not uh, playing what I want. So uh, I started to play violin and keyboards, uh, then I uh, later uh, returned to Dobro, the, these uh, rhizophonic guitars but uh, it was not also the best instrument for my ideas 
and uh, lately I've been uh, playing a lot organ uh, and uh, electric organ and uh, violin. Even more lately, like last year, I started to, to work uh, a lot in uh, percussion because uh, uh, I start to, to get interested in uh, polyrhythmics and uh, it became kind of a, a daily practice and for, for there to pass to, to, to percussion it was a kind of a natural step although I, my idea is to use it uh, also on, on the organ, this, uh, this kind of uh, idea. Recently, I, uh, a thing that I don't uh, find very comfortable is uh, uh, when the circumstances of the promoters and uh, arrange you the, the musicians that you will play. And I, I, um, I like to play with friends, uh, with people that I feel that uh, we have more connection than just the, the, the music. And uh, so for me, it's, uh, it's always better if uh, it's a process that uh, if you are playing with a person, uh, that person should be involved in your daily practice and your, uh, the things that you are worried about. And uh, it's a kind of, uh, uh, this, uh, there are, there are uh, I'm saying that, but uh, the opposite hap happened to me a lot of times and I'm really happy to that, uh, that things happen. Uh, and it's a way to, to, to try the, the, this kind of um, feelings that when we are uh, playing uh, mechanically. Uh, if you work a lot with people, you start to focus more on the ideas and less on the, on the you not you are not directed by your movements. There was a time, for example, when um, in the 90s the the scene was very poor here in Portugal. Uh, nothing happened. Uh, for example, I played four gigs a year or something like that, and uh, all of the process was made uh, it was at home. And uh, it was basically, if you don't have the input to give a lot of concerts, you end up being a bit more lazy. And uh, around the beginning of the 2000s, uh, uh, new promoters uh, start to work here in Portugal. And uh, in that process, uh, more, more concerts were made with Portuguese musicians and we could see more music in places like ZDB and mostly ZDB uh, in, the, in that period. And uh, for me it was such an intense time that I w thought that uh, uh, my impression it, it, was, it was that it would be a kind of a, a, f a small phase and it would become the new, the new 90s, uh, nothing and, and strangely uh, now we are uh, in 2060, uh, 16, and uh, the, I see that uh, things are getting better every year. So for the future, I have this vision that uh, uh, I don't know wh what I will be doing, but uh, I hope that uh, I can achieve the new dreams and new musics to play, and uh, I, I think. Uh, I have optimism seeing the process that uh, of the musicians that uh, are uh, the way the, my friends are developing, the way I see the more and more concerts, more and more spaces opening. Uh, yeah, I think that uh, that is the with that you can achieve uh, uh, new music. I think because it's the the, the kind of the foundation for you to continue to your work. Uh, one of the things that um, it's the most dangerous uh, in terms of creating new public is if you see always the same public in the different spaces, like a group of 20 people that go to the same spaces. And uh, it's always good to, when you see in, uh, after a concert, oh, I came here for dinner and I really like what kind of music is this? And sometimes it's the beginning for a person to get involved in uh, uh, discovering new things. 
and uh, I think the, the fact that there are a lot of uh, spaces opening every month, uh, it creates uh, the public. It's the, the first it's the spaces and then the public comes, I think. <laughs>